A UNICEF said an estimated 116 million babies will eventually be born under the cloud of the COVID pandemic. And new mothers feeling the added anxiety. Fox 61's Audrey Kuchin reports. It was lonely at times, you know, not having the family members to be able to come over to, you know, to help or um, anxiety, just a lot of different emotions. I mean, really. Berlin mom Kat Crossamano had her fourth child, beautiful baby Ella, on March 31st, 2020, just weeks after the World Health Organization declared the COVID-19 outbreak a global pandemic. It's definitely a different different way to bring a child into the world this time around. Millions of mothers began the journey of parenthood in one world and are now birthing babies in a completely different one. Afraid of getting infected, feeling isolated, missing shared doctor's appointments with their partners, baby showers with their friends, newborn help from their own moms. And in many cases, their plans were abruptly interrupted. So there was a several month hiatus where all the fertility monitoring and all of the procedures were stopped. So all those women who had either been, had gone through miscarriages or themselves were kind of going through this long road of fertility had to stop everything. So that furthered the anxiety of, but I've had this plan and I thought I was gonna have my baby. So there were all these waves of how it was hitting. Brighton based obstetrics and gynecology specialist, Dr. Shiva Gofrani has been working with women for decades. I always say is I want us all to be proactive without being paranoid. She says fear is terrible for pregnancy. The release of the hormone cortisol is meant for true fight or flight circumstances. In Iran, in Italy, in America, and I think in China at least, there were several different studies that were examining women's, um, how they felt about their anxiety levels. And unfortunately, they found that 50 to 75% of the patients were saying that they felt either moderate or severe anxiety and stress because of COVID specifically. The good news across the world over the last 10 months, so much new data has been collected. And so far, the data has been pretty good. The majority of babies who are born to COVID positive moms are negative for COVID. And the few that have been positive, again, the, the vast, vast majority have been okay and healthy. On a news bite, it's, it's very easy to say, Pregnant women will get more sick, will get more intubated, and will li are more likely to pass. And that is true, period. But the numbers are still incredibly small. By and large, pregnant women have not seemed to be the concern that we thought they were, which is great. But then there's the social layer. Right? So if so many people are going through pregnancy alone. Family members didn't come to visit at the house. Everything was all Zoom or Google. You know, it was just everybody had to stay away or they came to the door and stood outside. It was really sad. It was, I mean, it, it, it kind of stole that joy. I, there, even though there was still joy, it stole that joy. It's a sentiment echoed by new moms everywhere. The more women bond and engage with each other, the better things will be. Find your community. And I really think it is really important to remind women to be physically distant, but very socially engaged, even more so during pregnancy, because when you are alone, you do let your mind run into some feelings. As, as difficult as it can be in a time like this, just to, you know, it, it kind of has given me a chance to slow down a little bit too, I think, and to really, like with certain stages, just try to enjoy it as much as possible through all the chaos and everything that's going on, you know, just to take that moment and be like, all right, you know, enjoy the little bubble, enjoy the time. Audrey Kuchin, Fox 61.